heading down Arkansas 128. I guess down, up, ah, who knows. I don't know which direction I'm going, except for I'm going that way. Uh, sort of north, east. I was going to head out to uh, Toad Sock Harley Davidson to the event out there, but just as I was getting my motorcycle out of the garage, my son called me and uh, he's out at the shooting range today doing competition shooting and uh, I said, Dad, what you doing? I go, well, I was getting ready to go to Tulsa. He goes, oh. You know, well, what do you need? He goes, well, I locked the keys into my van. So I said, I guess I'm going to Hot Springs. Uh, this actually ain't Hot Springs, but uh, it's out near Hot Springs. I'm going to the Mountain Valley Shooting Association range. It might be called something else. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I hope I'm going to find it. about seven miles away from it at this point but it, it's a nice day to ride so uh, might not make it to Toad Sock anyways uh, it's the thing about uh, not having a plan or having any major plans that you have to get anything done I love retirement you know on my YouTube channel it's been going pretty well and I'm not monetized I don't have enough subscribers I do have uh, I think the last time I looked it was 435 but uh, you know I'll gain five subscribers lose two subscribers and gain seven more it depends on what you know depending on some of the videos I post people uh, subscribe to me because uh, they like the video that I did about riding my electric bicycle then the next one comes up and I'm you know riding my motorcycle and they go what and then they'll unsubscribe or vice versa you know someone will subscribe because I uh, rode it you know did a demo on a motorcycle they were interested in and uh, it, you know it came up on their feed and so they subscribe and then all of a sudden they get a video of me cooking the uh, omelets <laughs> they go what anyways <laughs> you know a lot of people when they subscribe to the channel they don't uh, necessarily look at the description because uh, as I uh, do this YouTube stuff you know this is just a blog a blog video log whatever you want to call it an old retired hippie biker yeah. and uh, it's about my adventures misadventures and whatever now the GPS says I'm supposed to turn here is this Mill Creek okay here we go back on the back roads and uh, you know it, it's really hard to tell what the next video I make will be because I don't have a plan. I'm just an old retiree. Yeah, you know, I'm 17 years old, got nearly 50 years experience at it, and I'm just enjoying life, you know. I've already, you know, worked enough to get a small retirement, and uh, I decided to retire early because I was in good health. And I'm glad I did. This thing about working until you die, I don't understand that. Unless, you know, if you're, you know, like if, you, if you're a farmer, you own a farm, you live on a farm. And of course, you know, hopefully that, if that's the case, you know, you raise some kids that are taking over the farm. And as you get older, you know, they take over the majority of the duties and you're still there on the farm. That's cool. Or you own a business and doing something that you really, really enjoy doing. And you have, you know, it's a family business and your kids and grandchildren start taking it over and you don't have to put as much in, but you can 
continue to piddle around doing it in your old age that's cool too but if you're working a job that you know is mainly to make money even though it could be all jobs are worthy you know if they're honest but uh you know why work until you fall over dead in the office chair hope i got that buzzard on camera and uh it's just that for instance a new year's day an army buddy old arnie the guy that taught me how to ride motorcycles on his little honda well he met at Fort Hood, texas he called me up on new year's day and we talked to see how each other was doing and and we were talking about how we were going to get together this summer either he was going to come down here to arkansas or i was going to go back to virginia and uh we were going to get together and do some writing together <laughs> you know well a couple of weeks ago well more than a couple of weeks ago now i guess about three weeks ago he died and he hadn't retired yet he got ill and uh died you know his son contacted me and said you know he caught he, he suffered from diabetes and the complications of diabetes what he died from but it, what happened is he caught the old covid you know which uh didn't do him too well his lungs collapsed he got pneumonia and, and he died and uh broke my heart but he he had worked long enough to have you know to retire a few years you know a few years ago but he was trying to get 30 years in and it didn't happen so you got to enjoy life and that's what i do it's like uh, i was planning on going over to toad suck because they got the the motorcycle bike and car show i still might make it over there but like i said i got a call from my son and i'm glad he <laughs> having me come out here i hope i'm on the right road this is beautiful out of here look at this this road this reminds me of the country roads of west virginia and southern ohio and, and uh where i spent time at in my youth and younger days and, let's see this is supposed to be 10 mile road This is the right road, MVSA. Okay. Let's see. Got a couple of miles to go here. This is beautiful. Yeah. It's springtime. Things ain't all sprung up a little bit. Looks like they had a little fire damage up that way. A while back. Maybe some dead trees. Mostly a pine forest back here. But you know, the day is beautiful. it don't turn into a dirt road wow talking about Ernie there's his sister-in-law messenger just came up that's her face sitting there on the GPS if you can see it I wonder what she wants but uh well we shall see and uh going up here to find his shooting range where my son's had to give him the key and on my old trusty 2001 FX DWG wide glide 2001 that's pretty good you know like this this bike let's see that makes it it's about 21 years old now I guess actually it was made in uh, 2000 It's a 21 year old motorcycle. I'm looking at doing a project and uh, I posted a picture. Let's see, what was I talking about earlier? Oh, yeah. And uh, I started me buying me a cup of coffee page. 
thing of it is, I'm finding myself running out of uh, story ideas because uh, some of the story ideas I have take money and being on a fixed income, I don't have the money to, you know, to pay for the projects or, or even the gasoline to go on certain little trips. And, uh, you know, I hate to ask for money. I am a creator, somewhat, I guess you could call myself an artist, I don't know, but I'm trying to create some type of entertainment, inf information, and put it on YouTube by sharing my adventures with, with, with others. Here comes a group of riders heading on out, and they're doing well. It's a beautiful day for riding. Anyways, as you were, you know, you know, I, my videos go from uh, 25 people, 25 views to 51,000 views. And uh, what's kind of funny is the one that's 51,000 views, it's just a slideshow, I'll be talking on it a little bit, but it really perked a lot of interest. This old hippie biker here, this, this whole channel is really just about me growing old, things that I do while I'm growing old, and uh, uh, some, of the, some of the things are really, I guess, kind of boring. We're in a place called Crow right here. We're going to be taking a uh, left on the Highway 9. And, uh, yeah, I'm debating if I... You know, originally, I was supposed to be going to Hot Spring. I was going to go to Conway today. I wasn't supposed to. I don't, I don't have to do anything. 